Fulton Dalton, I want you to do me a favor. Close your eyes and imagine a few things for me. Imagine being 13, coming home from school, and being told you have 24 hours to move out and you're gonna lose about half of your possessions. Imagine being dropped off at a near stranger's house for weeks without being contacted once by your parent. Imagine witnessing your mother trying to stab herself in the kitchen due to a drug-induced psychotic phase. Imagine you're not gonna eat that night because your mother decided to feed her addiction instead of you. Imagine thinking your mother was sober for over a year, but in reality, she had to be revived three times with Narcan within two months. Imagine, instead of finding loose change or coins in your mother's purse, you find heroin needles and crack pipes. Then, imagine being abandoned at the age of 13 before going to live with the father you barely knew. And finally, imagine going to bed at night, not knowing whether your mother was alive or toe-tagged in a morgue. Open your eyes. Let me introduce myself again. My name's Colton Dalton. I'm the son of an addict, and I'm often overlooked. Ohio, the state you currently live in, is leading the nation in opioid addiction, the heroin epidemic, and drug overdoses. As a society, we often think, about the addicts themselves and wonder what we can do to help them, but we soon forget that addiction affects more than just the abusers. Hearing the previously mentioned events that I've experienced may have you wondering how I got to this point in my life, and I'm here to tell you it's because I, myself, have made individual choices. As the son of an addict, addict um, societal expectations and statistics are attached to me. I am choosing not to become those statistics because I am not my mother's choices. I could not choose whether or not to be a part of the 25% of children who grow up in a household where substance abuse is present. However, I am choosing not to become an addict because I am not my mother's choices. Every time I go out, I am choosing not to become an addict because I am eight times more likely than the average person to become addicted to abusive substances. I chose to not fall victim to my circumstances and continue my education although those statistics were built against me as I was more likely to not finish high school or even go to college, where I've excelled in multiple organizations, I'll be graduating in May with my Bachelor's of Science in Nursing, and hopefully returning in fall for my Master's. I chose to fall in love with someone who contributed to my assets and not my flaws, because I am not my mother's choices. By doing so, I avoided the higher risk of entering a physically and emotionally abusive relationship. Although I have fought, and I'm still currently fighting these statistics, I could have never done it alone. At the age of 18, I was lucky enough to go live with my Aunt Brittany and her husband Adam, because my father and I had a very difficult and sometimes abusive relationship that ended when I became 18. Due to still being in high school, they offered to take me in and provide for me until I graduated. They took me in and um, decided to provide for me until I graduated. They taught me how to be a better person and reminded me constantly that I was more than what my parents had chosen for me. Sometimes they said things which impacted me, and sometimes they had to say nothing. Living with them taught me more than they will ever know. They taught me how to make better choices, separate from those of my parents, just by being themselves. This was the first time I had ever seen a healthy relationship the first time witnessing parents be parents and care about the future of their son and their nephew. I had watched my uncle go to work every day and provide for his family without falter. I do not think they truly understand how much they impacted my life in just one short year. Unfortunately, my uncle Adam passed away two years ago from lung cancer. I would like to hope that he knew how much he inspired me and how appreciative I was for the tough love he had shown me, because for the first time in my life, I had felt that. And although he was not my father, I was so very proud to call him my uncle, because he never had to let me into his home, and he never had to accept me as family. But because he made those choices, my life was changed for the better. I did not come here today to talk about being the son of an addict, but to show you the beautiful thing in life 
are the choices we make. You have choices to make here and in the future. You've even made past choices that brought you to the seat that you're currently sitting in. You are the master of your own lives. Do your parents influence those choices? Sure. But you must learn and grow from those influences and decide the life you want. But you can't always do it alone. Not every parent makes bad choices. You may even aspire to be like your parents, and that's okay. There are other people in your life that can influence you with the choices they are making, whether it's a significant other, a best friend, a professor, or even a stranger. Sometimes you are the one influencing others with the choices you make. Choices, even those which are not our own, can influence our lives, but it's up to you to decide their outcome on your life. Look to others for inspiration. Choose the life you want, but remember the true influencers of the life you are pursuing. Not everyone has the power to change the choices or the life that their family or someone else has chosen for them. However, you do have the choice on how their life or their choices impact yours. Only you can give the power to someone else to take away your freedom to choose the life you want and the dreams you wish to accomplish. Roy T. Bennett once said, whatever choice you make, makes you choose wisely. So I want you to ignore society and forget the statistics. Make your own choices. And I want you to ask yourself, what choices have you made? How have those choices impacted others? And when you leave here today, how can your choices impact the world? Thank you.